Today's video contains very brief stories about situations in which nice guys have been out on dates with different women, and the women in every single situation have been rude to them or rude to the waiter or waitress. Instead of doing what most nice guys would do and simply sitting there and taking it and ending up paying for her meal, these guys say, wait a second, I'm not going to deal with biz, and walk out and leave her there, which is fantastic. Your average nice guy believes that women are sweet and innocent, that they are angels, and that they should be treated with absolute respect, even though men are treated with disrespect. Women can spot a nice guy a mile away, and if they think you're a doormat or a pushover, they'll take advantage of you. But now guys are no longer putting up with this nonsense because awareness about female nature is spreading, and these guys who would never do this before are now doing it. And the thing is, these guys are doing it very quickly. The two major differences between your average ordinary nice guy and a guy who is assertive and successful in life are that the nice guy always puts himself last, whereas the assertive guy puts his needs first. The second thing is that the nice guy will put up with crap from everyone, his co-workers, his friends, his family, ordinary people he may meet in life, whereas a guy who is assertive or your classic bad boy doesn't take crap from anyone. And I don't mean just women. I'm talking friends, family, co-workers, anyone. If you do those two things, I guarantee your entire game will change in an instant. We've all heard that dating can be a minefield and that getting out of a bad date can be difficult. I'm sure most of us have been on a date and thought to ourselves, I wish I could just walk out right now. Most of us don't because social rules dictate we must be polite, but it turns out there are some people who have no qualms about walking out on a date when things aren't going well. This is why I always tell you guys that if you're going on a first date, meet up for one drink and leave it at that. That way, you can avoid a lot of BS and avoid being taken advantage of. This guy is quoted as saying, I took a gal to Starbucks, bought us both a drink so we could sit and talk. About five minutes into it, she takes a phone call from a coworker, puts it on speakerphone and begins to savagely shit talk. The counter asked her to cut the call of the speaker as people were trying to study, and she proceeded to argue with the barista. I didn't message her, didn't hear from her. Imagine if this guy had gone out to dinner with her, and he had sat down for 45 minutes to an hour having a meal with her. Imagine that. So once again, one drink, gentlemen, so proud of that guy for walking out. The second scenario, says the guy, she just kept talking about work incest, and I tried to change the subject by asking if she had any hobbies, but she didn't. She just ranted about how work would let her pursue anything. She kept talking about herself, how tired she was from work, and made it appear as if she was doing me a favor by coming out on this date. She wasn't even asking me questions, just them every now and then. She'd check her phone and nod at me, saying, um, and yeah, pretty much. I made an excuse and walked away. When you're on a date, you should notice that it's not just you who should be grateful to be in her company. When you value yourself, it will make a world of difference in how people treat you, not just women, but people in general. The third scenario, she yelled at the waiters for incorrectly cutting a piece of meat. She yelled at me for attempting to assist her, so I apologized to the waiters and left, leaving her with the bill. You can tell a lot about a person's personality and character by how they peep and treat people in a service position. If any of you have never worked in a restaurant, believe me when I say that being a waiter is hard work. You have to manage your section, all these different tables, you have to be a great multitasker, and it is not easy. They have to put up with it and be nice about it, or they will lose their job. Guy says in the next scenario, I met her on a dating app, and we bonded over our mutual love of food. She mentioned that she hadn't been to any good restaurants in town, so I decided to take her to a really nice place because I had just gotten my tax rebate and could afford a 200 pound meal. Number one is incorrect. She mentions not having gone to any good restaurants in town, which is classic manipulation. She duped him into taking her to an expensive restaurant. Make it one freaking drink or else you'll waste all your money and time on someone who was a total prick and not worth it. After ordering her food, an appetizer, wine dinner, and a second dinner, she took out her phone and spent the next 20 minutes just browsing Instagram while I tried to talk to her. I excused myself to the restroom, and instead of conversing with the waitress, I convinced her to cancel my meal and dessert, leaving me with only my appetizer. At that point, I paid my debt and left. I can see her freaking out. The next scenario goes, she showed up with three of her friends, and I was expected to buy all of them dinner. I snuck out leaving them with a the bill. There aren't a lot of women who will pull this type of nonsense because they perceive the guy as weak, as a doormat who will let them have their way. On to the next one, I have a severe stutter, and every time I start to lock up, she uses it as an opportunity to interrupt. I politely told her that it was one of my pet peeves, but she just deflected and continued to do it. 
For the record, I've quit jobs because of it, and people don't respect me enough to let me finish the sentence. When you get some women who are big talkers and won't shut up, and you try to talk and interrupt them, the first time I'll be cut about beside myself because of that rudeness. I'll just walk right over the second time and eventually get out of there. I have zero tolerance for that nonsense. Nice guys would never do this because it's just their perspective of the world. But they're waking up and it's fantastic. Don't forget to hit the like button to help spread the word about this video. Thank you for taking your daily dose of red pills. And remember that a red pill a day keeps bad poker hands away. So have a good rest of your day and cheers.